Hi there, in this tutorial we are going to create a basic sampler in Super Collider. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is load a sound file into our buffer that's going to be, you know, one of the sound files we play as a sample. Uh, so the buffer is um, in RAM, it's in memory, and so we don't have to read it directly from hard disk, we can load it into uh, audio buffer. So let's go ahead and do that, we'll just create a, a variable called b1, and you go ahead and uh, invoke buffer, buffer object, and you can do dot read. And there's a number of different things you can do, but this is the most common sort of thing if you want to read from your hard disk sound file. And then the server is S, and then you just uh, pop in a path. Um, I think I have something open here. I have this mono samples here. I'll do the boxing bell. Okay. So you can drag, yeah, you can actually drag files into Super Collider like that, and it'll show the path. Okay, so we give you that path. And I'm just going to close that with a parentheses. And let me just shrink that a little bit so it all fits. Okay, so there we go. We have our buffer, and that will uh, load up a buffer into memory. And then let's make our synth def. Okay, and we'll call it, we'll call this sampy. Okay. And then dot add, like that. All right, so the basic object we're going to use for the simple sampler, there's a number of different ones we can use, but the basic one is called play buffer. All right, so I'll play buff actually. So let's just look at it, P-L-A-Y buff dot A-R. Okay, and so basically it's looking for a number of channels, which will be one. The buff number, we're just going to call that buff because we're going to make that an argument when we call the synth. And then you can change the rate and you have a trigger too. So we'll fill those in. Trigger, it means it starts that sample over. It triggers it back from the starting point. Okay? And so we'll have one of those as well. So the buff number is going to be buff. Rate, we can make that adjustable if you want. I can go R, A, T, E, make that a, uh, argument. Now the trigger, we're going to use this uh, trigger rate trigger so that every time we send it, something it just re-triggers it, it starts. And th that you do that as control rate or trigger rate. It's going to be T underscore TR, okay? And then it's going to be control rate, KR. And then or its initial value is going to be 1, and then its lag time will be 0. Okay, we do that. We've done this before. It's these control rate arguments. So this is an argument already. I don't have to put it in the upper thing of arguments. Uh, it'll, it'll see it already, and this TTR makes it a trigger rate. Okay, and the start position loop, we'll just we'll just leave all that zero and done action. We'll leave all that defaults, okay? So we have our play buff object now. We created a couple arguments. Let's go ahead and add those. So arg, we have a buff. Now we don't know what, what that's going to be, so we'll leave that with no default. And then we have a rate, which we'll make one. And, you know, obviously two, we'll play it back twice as fast. 0.5 will be half as speed. Okay, and then like I said, you don't have to add this to the list of arguments. That's already settled as an argument. It'll come in to find that. Okay, now let's set up just sort of our our code structure. Var, a uh, var, we're going to call it the sig. And then we're going to make our signal equal to this play buff. Equal to the play buff. And then we're just going to send it out. Uh, the bus will be, now we can just choose which speaker comes out, so we'll make that a variable, out bus, OBS, and then the array we send out is a SIG, SIG, okay? Now this is hard-coded, this number of channels, so if you want to make a, a, a stereo one, you're just going to put two there and then maybe call it SAMB stereo or something like that. I'm just going to make a mono sampler, all right? And I think it will have a hard time playing back sound files, so you make got to make sure the buffers you uh, load in here a mono samples. I mean, we'll try a stereo sample and see what happens. I think Supercar is smart enough sometimes it works it out, but we'll, we'll figure that out anyways. Okay, so, um, right. So we have this out signal. I mean, if you want to add, for example, amplitude, if you want to change the, we could just add that. And we'll make that equal to one for now. The signal times the amp. Okay, really simple. See how easy that is, and then we'll have something to, to do it. So, Maybe for now, A equals synth, and it's going to be sampy. We do have to add some arguments in those uh, uh, array square brackets. We do have to tell it what the buffer is. And we're going to use this little 
little tiny function go b1 that's the buffer and then we're going to go buff num so that buff number from that buffer okay so any any buffer here b1 is a buffer if you invo invoke buff num on it it'll give you the buffer number for that all right so let's boot up our server there i guess it's already booted i'll send that buffer and load that up and you'll see this message come up it's this bell and then we'll send our synth def add that oh let's see i made a, a little error there obs right we didn't define the argument obs outbus is equal to zero sorry about that so we have to make sure outbus equal to zero that's going to come out our one speaker okay so we'll reevaluate that okay and then we can send our player sample okay great and then it just could be re-triggered by invoking this trigger rate trigger so a dot set and we're going to do t underscore tr we're going to make that one any non-zero value is fine okay there you go all right so uh that's essentially it so easy and it's great it's very useful to have a sampler let me just show you uh, a couple other things there is a way to load um, a bunch of sound files from a folder so you can use this collect into buffers this uh, syntax here um, so we'll say uh, bees equals uh, how's it go sound file collect collect into buffer sound file dot collect into buffers okay and then it takes the path uh, that you want okay and again you can just drag the path in I have this mono samples path and I can drag that whole thing in a folder so this will be a path of folder path okay and then I think we have to put a star yeah so mono samples and then we do we add an asterisk there at the end okay so this will now make this an array of all the sound files I have in this folder. Okay, so that's an easy way of putting all your sound files that you want on your samples into a single folder. Then you can just do it in one stroke. If I do that, you notice it has all these different buffers. And then you invoke those by, by using the array, um, array syntax. So bs or bs uh, zero will be that one that's uh, my boxing bell. And B's one will be something that's called falling brass. And B's two is Uawa. And B's three is Zippo lighter. And B's four, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, loads, there's no B's four. So there's zero through three. I have three sound files. And then you just, uh, uh, well, let's free A. We can either free A or we can just change. Oh, we can just set it. A dot set. Um, and we're going to set our buff to b's let's say three dot buff number okay so now we set that and then oh we can do all at once we can trigger two together t underscore tr to one that's my zippo lighter one let's do number two that's a wah 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 this is um, falling brass. One with a zero and three. All right. Well, there you go. Um, how to make a basic sampler, and then also we looked at how to collect these things into buffers. And good luck with that. I think there will be a second part to this and connect this to our series of things to do with the mouse. Uh, mouse theremin uh, will we'll have a way that we can send a message, say, from processing uh, or some other kind of GUI kind of thing that can choose our sound files. Uh, we'll do some cl clever things with them. But anyways, that's your basic sampler. Uh, good luck with that, and hopefully that works for you.